welcome to the top of the morning show. It's your girl TT from the D. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. I know I did. I worked in the fields during the day. I work in human resources and I was out. We were at a career fair and it was a, a wonderful day. I got to meet some pretty cool people. And at the end of the day, I got to do some really cool things, which is a part of my job. And I find great joy in that. I love when I'm able to be in a position to help change someone's life for the better. So that brings me to my hot topic this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on a roll this week. Now, I don't know if you've been tuning in this week, but so far we've talked about grief and rebound relationships. We did that on Tuesday. And then yesterday we talked about parental tug of war. Well, this morning, we're going to talk about spiteful child support. Yeah, I know a lot of men who, over the years, have paid child support. Some of them had to deal with it being out of spite. You've also had some women that have to pay child support. Now, I don't know if you know that, but yeah, women pay child support as well. It's not just the men that pay child support. A woman can be made to pay child support too. But you have to understand some factors. First of all, you need to understand what is child support. Child support, in lie of what the world has said, Child support is the money a parent pays to help meet the needs and the requirements of a child that is living with the opposite parent. Now, if you got to go through the challenges, like if you are someone who either A, was once married and now separated and divorced, then sometimes you have to have a court order for the support. If you're dealing with an ex who is the other parent, right? Because it could be the man has custody of the child or children or the woman has custody of the child or children. And then they may need a court order for the support. A lot of the times, mature people can come to a, a common denominator and say, listen, let's do what's best for the kids when it comes to health care, making who's going to provide health care if their child go to a public or private school, that's going to factor in. If they do extracurricular activities, that's going to factor in. Help, you know, everyday food, shelter, all that. Those are factors, right? Dental. When I talk about health care, we include in medical and dental, right? Um, If you have a child that needs before or after school care, you're talking about daycare or what's the term they use for it? Um, latch key. Okay. So the support could be used in different aspects, but a lot of the times, as I said, it comes by way from a divorce. Um, there's a woman who had to take paternity action because a man wasn't claiming that child that this woman has said is he is. And so that can also spark child support, right? child custody actions when you have the baby mama normally okay the child's mother who's telling the father the baby daddy that they're not going to see their child because they didn't do this that and the third and they run their laundry list down so then the dad um sometimes with a little support and push from family members or someone who is someone they depend on their thoughts and, and really respect their ideas, they may say, hey, you might need to get the courts involved. I know I've said that several times. And I don't care if you're my brother or if you're my sister. If you are a parent and you are not in the house with that child and you are not willing, now let me be clear, you're not willing to support that child financially. And that mama, if you are the father with the kids, is not willing to help you. If that daddy is not willing to help you, and the kids are with the mother, then it's like, okay, now we're going to have to involve the courts. But I don't have no respect for a man or a woman that will go down to the courts and put a plan in action that's really considered spiteful child support.
a lot of the times you have men who pay child support, but they are not allowed to visit with their child, have time with their children, and they are suitable parents. They, they're a suitable father. It's the spice. Now, I'm going to let you listen to this court case, just a, uh, just a tad bit of this. And this is a pure case of spiteful child support, but it backfired. See, this woman that you're about to listen to had a sweet deal worked out with her ex-husband. They share two children. They both are gainfully employed. She's a school teacher. He's a truck driver. And I want you to sit back. I want you to listen to this. Because sometimes when you are spiteful and you are greedy and you have a hidden agenda or you're just jealous, it can blow up in your face. And as I talked about earlier yesterday, the parental tug of war, a child does not or children do not deserve to be caught in the middle of your bullcrap. So sit back and listen to this and tell me in your own words, in your mind, what you thought. You could drop me a comment when I share the link later on. Here we are. Mm. Wow.
be clear. Uh, okay. Oh. Mm. Wow. Oh, wait.
Now, wasn't that crazy? How you go in there currently making a thousand dollars a month, however you apply, whether you put it to the tuition or spread it out, whatever that looks like, yet you leave out with five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> When I heard that, I, I said, I got to use that. Because, ladies, you can't allow your emotions. And I know some women who have decided to do spiteful shit like that. And instead of working with the father, who is already willing to work with you, working with you currently, because they love their child or children, soon as he starts dating, now you can date all the Negroes you want, right? But let this man start dating somebody and, and might potentially get into this relationship and maybe she got a child or children or what. Oh, baby, you want to talk about somebody about to be pissed off? You want to talk about somebody who about to turn beat red no matter what your skin complexion tone is? I don't know why we do it as women. Now, that ain't my story. That was never my thing. I thank God. My older son's father has always been a fabulous dad, always on point, always supportive, always showing up, even when he needs to. And uh, my husband does the same for our son we share and even for my older son. So I never had to worry about that. And when my ex, my older son's dad, they started dating after we weren't, I could care less, friend. I could care less. You know why? Because he was always showing up and he was a father. <laughs> now, I know also some women who did this spiteful move because they ex was with someone else. And told the ex that that's what they were doing. I know two people this happened to. And I was like, wow. Wow. Yet, they also was like, oh, well, you're not going to see your child or children. Because you're dealing with that B or that. It's like, friend, friend, you ain't got that much power. You might have power in a coochie. But you ain't got power in these streets when it comes to people's money. You understand? It's crazy because that's too much. And I've been saying this even before I became a mother. Back in the day, before I became a mother, before my brother became a father, I always looked at what's fair, what is right, what's best for the child or the children. And I was against child support. If a father is willing and able to provide support and help take care of their child, because it's more than money. It takes more than money to raise a child if we want to be clear and honest. They need time. They need love. They need discipline. They need values. They need morals. And they need their other parents. <laughs> now, back to that lady that went to court. That judge socked it to her, but rightfully so, because you went in there on a spiteful tip and she couldn't help herself. I wish you could have seen the video on that. She couldn't help herself. You could tell she was jealous and upset more so at, if you, if you, if you listen, if you stop spending money on other women, don't worry about what he's spending his money on. It's his money to do what he likes. As long as he's taking care of his child or children, then he's doing his job. He is no longer obligated to take care of you. And then that little snide comment when he said, well, you spend it on you. She was like, uh, you don't know that. And so she, the judge said something, and she's like, I mean, I got to look good, too. Not at his dime. Not when you working. But then he slid in something that was quite funny. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a ex. Oh, she has a, a, a fiancé, and he don't even work. <laughs> I said, okay, so maybe she need that extra money she be begging for. So when her her broke 
current fiance boyfriend out or wants to do something. Yeah. No, it, that's not this party. That is not the party. That's not the invite. And no, no, it's not going down. I said all that to say, ladies, if you are receiving child support, Fellas, if you are receiving child support, because as I said earlier in this top of the show, men get child support too, because sometimes men have custody, full custody, right? And and love it. Sometimes fathers choose to have the child or children live with them when the mother is too busy to be a mother or when the mother is, doesn't have the means or don't have a place, a suitable place for their child or children to live and not taking care of them. If they're neglecting them in any fashion or form, then the father normally will step up and you heard me say father. Okay. Cause any male can be a dad, right? But it takes a man to be a father. If you are getting ready to file for child support, if you are seeking child support because your child's father or your children's father is not supporting you um, financially, helping you with bills or anything like that, because it does take money to help raise a child or children, right? But it takes two. You can't expect for that man to, well, you're not here in the house no more, so you need to be. No, we need to be. If nothing else, my suggestion would be like, okay, well, listen, I'm going to go grocery shopping and let's just split whatever the bill is. Or let's meet up if you like, and you're going to go about, let's meet up at the supermarket if you got time and I'm going to do the do. And then, you know, you can meet me back and we can figure that out. We can go ahead and split this cost of this bill. Right. I'm going school shopping for the child or the children if you don't have time. okay? let's split this down the middle, because guess what? Y'all are 50, 50 percent on a parent role when it comes to mom and dad made son or daughter, period. So if you can't agree and you don't want to go the child support route like that lady is crazy. She was getting a thousand dollars. Now, if the child or the children were in. Uh, what are they? Uh, the private school, and she says, well, it's a thousand dollars. Well, is that a thousand dollars a month? It probably is 500 for each child because private schools are not cheap. You want what's best for your child, so I wouldn't say, okay, they don't need to go to private schools. No, I'm not saying that. But as the judge said, she said, I'm gonna make him just pay five hundred dollars because that's half. Mom, you were well, I can't, I can't afford it. You count that man's pockets. You count that man's pockets. And let's be clear, it ain't like you got the child seven days a week. Now, in a lot of cases, the children or the child normally is with one custodial parent 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Y'all know what I mean, right? So they spend seven days, they sleep in that house with that custodial parent seven days a week. Here you are with a father who says, listen, I'm going to get the child to spend Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday, they coming home. You getting them Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, they coming back to me. So y'all splitting the time. He also said, they got clothes at my house. So you can't say, well, they need clothes. They need to, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no eggs, no ham. Nope. You need to have what you need to have at your house and he needs to have what he needs to have at his house so the children can comfortably feel like they belong with each parent while you're going through this co-parenting piece. And if you do have to get to court because y'all can't agree or you don't get that support, when you get whatever it is you get, make sure you use that to really take care of your child or your children, and not yourself. (laughs) Things have changed when you are no longer with somebody who used to help take care of your desires, such as if you want to get your hair done, your nails done, whatever that looks like, right? And you have a child or children. When they are no longer with you, they are not any longer responsible 
or obligated to take care of your hair and your nails or clothes or shopping or any of that. It's about the child or the children. And I think when we start to be spiteful, you know, like it cracks me up when I hear people saying, oh, $5,000 a month is not enough for this child. I need more than that for child support because they make X, Y, and Z. You so hell bent on what that man makes. Cause we talking about the men normally. Cause the woman, I had ladies. Oh, ladies. I know y'all gonna be pissed off, but I don't care. It's reality. Y'all be like counting that man pocket. You looking at their lifestyle, what they doing. Perfect example um, was 50 cents ex, his oldest child, mama. He was giving her child support paying his medical school, all that, right? Mom decided, well, he make an X, Y, and Z. He needs to be giving me this, that, and a third. And it was like, uh, okay, all right. Well, you doing child support, so now you getting less. And then she was pissed. But I'm like, if it works, it works. I say child support is for that absent parent who does not want to be financially or physically or emotionally or mentally responsible for that child or children who they help bring into this world. It is what it is. We are at a place in this time where we have to, again, do what's best for our child or our children. And when it comes to this child support, it can be very touchy. But fellas, you got to do what you got to do. If the judge can sit down and go over the books and say, listen, you need to be contributing in this. You need to be contributing in that. Maybe you're not looking at the bigger picture. It's more than buying that child or children a pair of shoes every now and then, uh, an outfit or two, and leaving it up to mom or vice versa, leaving it up to dad. It wouldn't hurt you to say, listen, I bought a, a food card. If you don't trust that custodial parent with money because then you know they're going to blow it on themselves, then I would suggest that I suggested this. Okay, I'm telling you what I know. I suggested it. Go and buy whatever the grocery store is in your community or that custodial parent's community and say, listen, you shop at, I don't know, Kroger's. I'm saying that because Kroger's is a chain here in Michigan. I went and I bought you a $200 gift card for Kroger's to go towards groceries. Okay. You grocery shop and, and they would know past because they used to be with you. If you grocery shop every week or if you grocery shop every two weeks, some people grocery shop for the month. There was a time when I was growing up, my mother grocery shop once a month when she had food stamps and our groceries lasted. Every now and then she had to get a few things here and there, but she didn't have to do total grocery shopping, but food don't last as long as it used to back today as it did back then. But if you are that parent, you could say, listen, I'm going to give you this. If if that mama or that daddy shops every week, I'm going to make lunches and this, that, and the third. Okay. So if you say, I'm splitting the cost with you on certain things, here's my $100 gift card for Kroger's this week to help with food. If you are splitting time with that child, whether they spend the night with you or nights with you, that non-custodial parent, maybe you might want to say, listen, I'm going to come by and get my child or my children and I'm going to take them out to dinner tonight. Or I made dinner at my house and I'm going to, you know, or we might be going to, you know, family house or whatever that looks like. That way mom or dad, whoever the custodial parent, don't have to cook that day, right? These are thoughts. These are ideas you could implement to make things easier, right? You need clothes. Let me go school shopping and you go school shopping. Because if I have the child, as in this case that we just listened to, half the week and you have them half the week, well, they go to school, according to this dad, from his house. Because I'm assuming they come after school. But it's possible he could pick them up on Wednesday morning and take them to school. I don't know. what that. We didn't get that deep with it. but. We know Thursday and Friday that child is going to school from dad's house. Mom ain't going to see them children until what? Sunday, right? So that means they school clothes need to be there, play clothes, whatever it is. All that needs to be at dad's house. Just like when the kids are going to school from mom's house, all that needs to be there. We don't have to make it so difficult. 
Child support is there to do just that. Support the child, not you. Don't shoot the messenger. Respect the message. That's all I got for you on this thankful Thursday. It's hot, right? I know I gave y'all something. Y'all like, what? This show is long. Because it is. And it's something y'all need to listen to. I guarantee you, you either know somebody who can relate to this or you can relate to this. But I'd be interested in knowing if you have an interesting viewpoint on this. If you agree or you disagree. If you have some ideas that work for you or work for somebody you know, drop them below the post later on today. Or shoot me an email. I would love to. Better yet, if you would like to come on the show, I will do a whole tap in Tuesday moving forward. And I would love to have you come on and talk about spiteful child support. Because it's deep, it's good, and it's something that unfortunately some people have to deal with. But let's deal with it in a positive way when we have to. Well, that's all I have for you on this thankful Thursday morning. Go off and be great. Do some wonderful things. Be positive. Until the next time we leave footprints across the sun, it's your girl TT from the D, and I'll see you soon.